Good morning. This will be a brief update on the construction of the greenhouse. Uh, this past weekend I was able to complete it and uh, starting to occupy it now I guess is the best term. Um, it's composed of a uh, side wall that's two feet tall all the way around and I'll show the details of that construction on the inside. The outside is uh, six mil poly <clears throat> and uh, is stretched over a, uh, a wire frame. I'll give you some further details on that in a minute as well. The uh, end panel uh, turned out to be kind of a problem and an issue of how to deal with it. And this is my current solution. I may be changing um, at a later date. The solar panels um, are just recently out of uh, storage. Uh, they've been put away during the construction phase. But they'll be reconnected uh, very soon. Hope to power the entire system off of uh, solar panels. Just a quick walk around the outside. And uh, this is the uh, the north face of the greenhouse. Um, the greenhouse is eight feet tall. Uh, that was for a couple of reasons. I wanted to be able to um, grow plants that could get uh, fairly tall. And um, I'm two meters tall myself, so I needed something that would allow me to... Um, it would allow me to uh, stand up inside and be comfortable. So the basic size of the system is 12 feet long, 8 feet wide, and 8 feet high at the uh, summit. The door swings in and that's uh, uh, very intentional because uh, we have very high winds here and I didn't want to open the door and have it uh, blown away by, by winds or by gusts. It's a fairly spacious greenhouse. Uh, the aquaponic system is over here. Uh, you can see that in the reconfiguration of the Dutch bucket system. The uh, construction is wood on the uh, north face. Um, and there's a ridge across the uh, summit. And it's partially wood on the south side. Uh, that was to allow as much um, solar as could be uh, gained by, uh, by exposing the south as well. In the corners, I have uh, four by four posts that are buried four inches deep, uh, sorry, four, uh, two feet deep, uh, and extend above the ground two feet. <clears throat> uh, just used two before construction and um, used uh, 3 8 uh, uh, fascia board uh, at the bottom uh, to get the thing up two feet. Um, the wire is three panels of uh, cow fence. Uh, this was a fairly cheap uh, solution. Each panel uh, cost me $20. Um, at the uh, hardware store and they're uh, wired together uh, the three panels that is are wired together uh, so as to get a, a, a 12 foot um, expansion here or yeah 12 foot uh, length and then just naturally um, arched over the top and between uh, the two sides. So if you have any questions about the uh, about the construction of the uh, greenhouse just let me know. I would estimate that the total cost of the greenhouse was less than three hundred dollars. Uh, there are a few details that still have to be taken care of and um, we'll go from there. 
No details on the uh, aquaponic system except that I wanted to show you that my bed temperatures in the system here are currently 70 degrees with an overnight low of about um, uh, 37 degrees if I recall correctly uh, this morning um, and you possibly can see at least a couple of um, shard um, uh, but, uh, uh, shoots uh, they were broadcast into the hydroton a couple of weeks ago all right thank you very much and uh, we'll keep you updated this is cash talk to you later